Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Mass of Water per Volume of Air. Let's consider a hypothetical scenario in which we have a box with a total volume of 3 meters cubed, and in this box we have air, and we also have water, and let's say, since this is not necessarily drawn to scale, that the volume of air is equal to 2 meters cubed, and the volume that the water inhabits is equal to 1 meters cubed, such that they add up to the total volume of the box, naturally, 3 meters cubed. So to, to determine this ratio that we're interested in, we need to first find the total mass of the water, and then divide that by the volume of the air inside the box. In order to determine the mass of the water, we need to know the density of the water. And water has a density, rho, sub w, that is equal to 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed. Therefore, we can calculate the mass of the water by multiplying the density of the water with the volume that the water inhabits. In this case, we have 1 meters cubed, so we have 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed times 1 meters cubed. The units of the meters of the cubic meters cancels out, and we're left with a total mass of 1,000 kilograms. So now we simply divide this mass that we just determined, 1,000 kilograms by the volume of air, which in this case is 2 meters cubed, and we, when we divide 1,000 by 2, we end up with just 500 kilograms per meters cubed here. So these units are units of a mass density, and this number represents the ratio of the mass of water to the volume of air for this particular physical setup. This a hypothetical scenario. My name is Walter Unglob and this is Mass of Water per Volume of Air.